Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to my channel, A Mixed Media Frenzy. This is where we all take the same sketch, but use it as inspiration and end up with something different. All of us. Of course, we all have different supplies, different pictures, and different ideas. And, yeah, there I'm showing the sketch again, and it's a really cute sketch. And I thought for sure I was going to put those circles on mine, but I don't end up doing it. I thought it all along till I got ready to do it, actually. I even had the die to do them with, and I'm not going to do them. I'm using that uh, teal colored paint right there. It's acrylic paint, but I added white to it because I thought it was just darker than I wanted. I wanted the lighter color. And so I'm just painting in the background. And then I'm going to add some water with that little spray bottle right there. So I can add some splatters too. Of course, you know, I needed splatters. There's splatters on the sketch. I might have put more than what they had, but, you know, I like splatters. So since I am putting on more splatters, it's going to take me... Just a little bit longer. I did cut some of it out, though. <laughs> I didn't want to have to make y'all watch me doing splatters for so long. Um, yeah, because I kind of had to keep just adding water and water to make sure I had enough. Um, I, this is a Tim Holtz dye, and I think it's called Coffee Splatters. I think that's, well, that's the idea in my head <laughs> anyway, whether it's right or it's not. Um, and I'm going to put three on there. It shows two black things, uh, the top and the bottom there on the left-hand side. Uh, they look like they're stamping, but I didn't have anything like that. So I thought, well, I'll use a stencil instead. And I looked and looked. I mean, I looked and looked for my stencils, trying to decide which one I wanted to use. And then I started all over again, you know, while I started over like three times. And I went to start the fourth time, and that's like the very first one in my um, accordion folder thing that it's in. And I just went ahead and pulled it out and decided I was going to use it. I do put an extra one on because I thought I needed one over on the right-hand side, too. And see, my picture is always too big when I go to do mixed media. So I have to cut them down, even if they're cut down already. Or I printed two, like on my selfie, two on there instead of one. They still end up too big. So yeah, I am cutting it down, but I think it's all right. They're in the swing, and that's my uh, grandson and his mama. And we were at the park one day, and of course, I had my camera, so I took pictures. <laughs> and I'm going to layer off. These papers, it shows papers layered under the picture in the sketch. And I am going to layer two. I'm going to, actually, I think I'm going to have one more layer than they have in the sketch. But I did, had to put one extra because I needed something dark. My picture's kind of, you know, a little bit dark. And I thought, I've got all these lights colors behind. I need something dark to bring out the blues that's in the picture. So that's why you see the blue plaid right there. I wanted to have it just because of the colors in the pictures. In the picture, I don't have to. In the picture. Um, I don't know what I'm doing now. Oh, here's where I uh, cut out the die. I had it intended to put circles and I even had the die in my hand. And I kind of looked back at the sketch and at my layout, and I thought, it's kind of big. And so I decided I would use something else. And so I got this one out, and I think I got it from, like, the giraffe store. And it's a pretty good die, and, of course, it's geometric shape, so I like that. And I used the same cardstock that I framed the, well, matted the layout in. I did think about using a different color, but I wanted it more, I didn't want it to stand out quite as much. Those circles on that sketch do stand out quite a bit, but then they've got black behind their picture and I don't. And 
Oh my goodness, I forgot to put flowers there in that one spot. That wasn't on purpose. I had it planned to do that. But I guess my layout's done. <laughs> um, let's see, what am I doing now? Oh, I just did put my picture on straight. And here there was, um, the there's the ephemera. And I am going to be using a couple of pieces of it. What that piece right there in my hand right now, it's going to be my title, and it says "Do more what makes you happy." And they love to go to parks and go riding in the boat and go to the lake and all that stuff. So they, on their time off, they do like to go do things like that. I love to camp myself. Well, they do too. <laughs> but yeah, I I love going out and camping and. Uh, uh, fixing breakfast early in the morning at the campsite. So much fun. I have not done it in years, though. It's been a very long time. Since my kids was little. Uh, that frame there, it that it has, it's got a scallop. And it was tore, so I thought, well, I will either have to tape it back or just use part of it. So I decided to use part of it and bring the colors that was down there in the title up above my uh, picture there and uh, I've got that um, banner thing right there with the chipboard so I've got the same colors a few times and see that cloud up there I'm going to end up putting them up there too and that way I'm repeating them these are Spiegel Mom scraps and uh, it's called Pocket Pull Full of Posies. <laughs> and so, yeah, they've got yellow. And then they got these cute little pink flowers in there and some pink. And so I'm going to scatter them around the page. And I'm going to think I'm done. And then I'll just keep looking up there. And I'll happen to glance over there at the um, ephemera. <laughs> My mind went blank. At the ephemera, and I could see this sticking out just a tiny bit. And I thought, well, if I put it up there, I'm going to have the colors that are down there in the right-hand corner. And everything will be like an angle through there, you know. And I thought, okay, I'm happy. <laughs> I like my layout better. So, yeah, I added the flower up there. I just fussy cut it out instead of just sticking it up there the way it was. But thank you all so much for watching. And if you look down below in the comment section, you will see the links to all the other gals that are using the same sketch that I used. Yet they will come up with something completely different as they do their layout. And if you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. Although, <laughs> YouTube has not been sending me notices when I have... Uh, comments on my video so I will go hunting for them and if you like the video and hit a thumbs up I'll appreciate it and if you are not subscribed to my channel I'd love to have you subscribe and those of you who are thank you so much and uh, yeah have a happy scrappy week take care and stay safe bye